Okay. You have to keep a really open mind when you watch my videos. You have to believe that eight personalities exist and uh, they share some kind of very interesting a life link between these personalities that I can I can say that I have actually met Jake Paul but Jake's Jake Paul's personality instead of actual Jake Paul I've actually experienced something that is very similar to what Alyssa Violet actually experienced. Uh, it was to a very, very like a minuscule degree. And it's not a lot of drama. But to me, in my life, it's my experience. And it's so much bigger. And knowing that there are so many tools for me to connect the dots... And this specific tool of personalities is like overwhelming. Probably you can dig out in your life who was the Jake Paul in your life. Who gave you the experience of Jake Paul. Of that narcissistic personality. But very specific type of narcissism. Very sort of social narcissism. Where... You have been approached, and he's very sort of attractive in a way. He's very invasive. It's very hard to defend yourself against someone like Jake Paul when he invades. And I'm going to explain wh what I felt and what I experienced. And it happened in Orphanage. When I was in Orphanage. There were a lot of characters in there. There are a lot of different personalities. And a lot of weird, you know, adventures could have gone down. But I'm going to tell you what exactly gone down in my case. But first, we're going to focus on these four thumbnails. You might not see anything strange with them. But what if I say that Shane has put them in such a ridiculously powerful order that aligns exactly to how my system works and reveals who is manipulating who? Right. It should be pretty obvious after I gave you the clues. Except with this picture. The third one. And yet, it should now be obvious. The manipulator is always in the back of the thumbnail. And so far, all four thumbnails seem to just work just fine. I'm not sure how that last one works, to be honest. I'm, I'm really not. Besides, but still, right? Hmm. There's probably something to break down over here on the last one. Because Nick Crumbleton doesn't didn't want it to reveal anything right all the drama whatever but he was allowed to do it it's, it's just so annoying the wind personalities is just so annoying do you really want permission <laughs> it's it should remind you vampires like 24 7 can I get permission to suck your blood right now? Yes? No? Can you sign over here? Do you really give me permission? Because, I mean, I want to suck a lot of blood. It's going to take a long time. Please? Make sure that... You give me consent this whole time. Jeez. 
Man, what a what a crumbleton. Anyways. So Alyssa steps in in the seventh Shane's part and explains her traumatic experience about uh, the Jake Paul. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. She basically calls Jake Paul a slut and uh, reveals that Jake Paul was sleeping with a bunch of Instagram models. But who doesn't sleep with Instagram models? I mean, come on. Instagram models want fame. That's the only way they can generate fame. It's just sleeping with people. Like, come on. We know this already. The, the slut world is expanding. It's called social media. Wake up. Wake up, sheeple. You're gonna be attacked by Instagram models. They're gonna try and rip you off. I'm probably gonna be attacked. Because I'm a fucking virgin forever. I mean, this is the best target. Right? Look at me. I'm so, so good of a target. But am I gonna be burnt? I mean, this is 2018. Everyone gets burnt. Because Jake Paul... Jake Paul is relevant in this circumstance and why everyone hates this whole situation is that Jake Paul is actually relevant. Out of all personalities that could be relevant, why Jake Paul? Who the fuck? Shut the fuck up, okay? We don't want no Jake Paul, but he is relevant. And we sort of hate everyone ex except underdogs, right? So we, we hate the winner. Fuck the winner. Right? We love hating the winners. I don't know. Or maybe, just maybe, because Jake Paul is the winner, haters, which are the losers, are expressing hate, right? Like this this seems to be a very simple thing to do. And uh, well Alyssa is also a pretty much a hater if she was manipulated by Jake Paul, and Jake Paul is a fire element, then she's an earth element. And in fact, I watched the video, yeah, she actually has quite a lot of traits that I recognize. My traits, okay? It's my trait. Yeah, I feel proud of myself. She's an earth hider. I think, I mean, she doesn't seem to be like Shane uh, in terms of the way she uses sarcasm. Which she's the moment she said prison when Shane Dawson asked what's gonna happen with Jake Paul? It's like prison, yeah. Oh boy. That wasn't a joke, man. She really hates Jake Paul and she expressed that really quickly. Oh man. I mean I appreciate that. And she censors herself a lot, meaning that she's a pretty much a hider. It makes sense. All of this makes sense. And uh, it's annoying in a way because I'm so attached to my personality. I almost have no choice. I have a personality and uh, I'm like, oh, that's that's me right there. I'm a celebrity over here. Look at me, everyone. I'm this hot little chick. Oh, man, what a score. You know, Earth people are just so pretty. I'm telling you. Uh, feels good to be pretty. Fe feels good to be taking credit just because I connected the dots. That's that's so cool, isn't it? I have opened my mind so much. Not only the Earth has flattened, not only feels great, but like. Don't you want to invite a crazy feeling? People use drugs, people do a lot of crazy shit. But it's like, if you can generate it with your mind, wouldn't you want to do it and accept it for what it is? And remember, if a lot of people accept it, it actually works out. No problem. 
But in this case, I'm constantly throwing you guys logical instances of why even this word. Like, I want it to logically make sense. Everything. So I will try it and be as least crazy as I can be. But have as much fun as possible. See, that that's where it feels like crazy because I'm having just so much fun doing it. <laughs> and I'm doing it out of nothing. Out of, like, zero resources. All I need is just some internet some computer and just sit and just a little bit of time boy what a magical peace of mind so I will tell my story real quick but so Alyssa was manipulated by Jake Paul Jake Paul was a slut and uh, he was what I mean I've told you about this and it's it's really cool that to see a narcissistic of a fighter personality. It's nice, interesting. We can learn a lot about this whatever this is. I mean I was introduced to drama. I just hated that it was Jake Paul, obviously. Finally, after ten years spending in YouTube, we got a little bit of drama. At least me. No, I think we all did. Right? Most of us, we watched Chain from quite a long time ago. And we grew up and it was like, oh, finally. Finally I can watch something and relate. Damn, that's beautiful. But let's just go back. Uh, the, fun the very interesting thing happened when Alyssa actually jumped from Jake Paul to Logan Paul and she wasn't ever Jake Paul's girlfriend apparently which makes sense I mean again it's like she was always asking herself like who am I in terms of relationship with Jake Paul and well she was a victim she was a manipulated Person, I mean, or a celebrity. I mean, she's still a celebrity. That's great. Congrats, everyone. But uh, as she jumps from Jake Paul to Logan Paul, she actually gets backstabbed yet again, just a little bit differently. See, Logan Paul likes to be a hider. So, he only revealed himself when Greg Paul approached Alyssa and said that if you were a guy, I would beat you up because he's used such a slut. Holy shit. Right? You're sleeping with Jake and Logan. What is going on? I mean, what a slut. Shouldn't you be happy that a girl is interested in both of your sons? Like, shut the fuck up, you asshole. And Logan is, like, laughing at it. She's being threatened. And Logan is just laughing. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff. Good stuff. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> when someone laughs, like, yeah. You got it, dead. Feed her up. Feed that creeper up. Oh man, I want to take some revenge on those Paul brothers right now. I'm such a hater. And uh, you, you can't dab on me. You can't. I, I'll dab you back. That's a hate. That's a hate crime. Dabbing on people is a hate crime now. And haters gotta be dabbed. Okay, you get it, I hope. Anyways, now we're gonna go to my story. And how it sort of relates... I, 
I force a lot of things to relate. I get it. It could be a bias that I over-relate things. Just, just putting it out there. If after 10 years I'm gonna be like, oh, I was totally crazy. But not exactly totally crazy. You know, I'm not going all in. But anyway, so... And besides, I, I didn't really change my mind, or, except on one thing, I was very crazy about number 11, and it's, it was stupid. Yes, I would see number 11 a lot of times, but it was just stupid search for number 11 everywhere. It's like, if you, if you add 3, and you add all the letters together... With the l letters of my crush's name. Oh my god, it's like 11. Guys, I just needed to add a f and subtract a few numbers, but we got 11. It's crazy. And I, I can do it in multiple ways. Yeah, there, there were some crazy things that I did. Okay. But this one is weird. When you encounter similar personalities uh, in a different environment, and most importantly, you do it. Holy shit. So I was in orphanage. I had to live there for like nine months. And I had a pretty good laptop, as I often do. And... Uh, with the internet, of course, and this was most luxurious thing in the entire orphanage. Everyone wanted to use it, especially Jake Paul himself. And again, I'm referring to the personality, not the actual Jake Paul. Uh, and so he comes in and it's like, but you better wash your socks. Cause we we don't want no stinky socks in here. Okay, you better wash yourself, basically. Ah, uh, and I sort of let him use laptop once, twice. It becomes a habit. I'm like, I don't really own my laptop anymore. Oh well, Jake Paul's an owner now. I mean, he likes to control things. What can I do? I just got manipulated. Okay. I was just like in Alyssa's position. I was like put on a thumbnail. It felt pretty good. To gain some views. But I'm like, can I get my laptop back? Please. Jesus Christ. I was... I was trying to learn programming. I was... Kind of after the phase, after... But Adventurecraft crashed, like really, really after, and I still try to tinker with, uh, with the leftover uh, things. I, I didn't really had anything, because right after I left the orphanage, I actually started uh, dealing with Unity, right? So before then, I was just in this limbo position totally confused on how to do programming but I was still trying to get busy but anyways then as Jake Paul uh, oh gets an increasing habit he's sort of social and sort of nice but in reality all he cares about is just my laptop, right? And he even was capable of bringing my laptop to his place. Which is very, very difficult to deal with. Because, it's like, it's almost like I was serving him a laptop right now. Like, that's how fucking disgusting it was. Uh, bring, bring me the laptop, my friend. Like, why would I do that? 
He wasn't giving me anything. He wasn't my friend. He was nothing. I was just felt intimidated. That's how I felt. There was no reason for me to give him anything. And he got pretty pissed after, you know, I decided one day to not give him. But then Logan Paul shows up. Yes, it has the exact same twist. And Logan Paul is like, he was hiding himself all this time. And never really actually did anything. Then he shows up and is like, Nah, I'm, I'm taking that laptop. I'm gonna use it. And yeah, I got it. And he threatened me and is like, Oh boy, this guy's even worse and scarier. Whew. Glad I'm out of orphanage. I can finally use my laptop now. That's literally what I felt like. It was the war of laptop. I had something. I had resources. And other people try to manipulate me and take away those resources. I had this experience. And I can relate to Alyssa in this case. I wonder if you can. I'm specifically an earth person. I'm exactly her personality. And I lived through a very similar deal of social interactions. And if those social interactions actually were like more important, this was just lapped up. This was just nine months. I can't imagine the torture that would happen if this was a bigger deal. Sex, different gender, oh my god. Give me a break. I can't comprehend those things, please. My mind is still innocent. I just watch porn. Anyways, get the fuck out of here.